So the idea of scientific notation or exponential notation is that you write a number times 10 to some exponent. Okay, so 1.5 times 10 to the x. This is a way to present large and small numbers accurately and clearly. Okay, so easy to interpret, easy to read, easy to write, and when you get to very large and very small numbers, possible to enter into a scientific calculator where with standard notation it's just not possible. Take for example the quantity that is a mole, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, okay, that's how many a mole is. Uh, if we were to write that in standard notation, 6022 Okay, I think I got that right. It's, uh, it's difficult to read. It's certainly difficult to write. Uh, this, is, this is cumbersome, hard to work with. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. You can see that that's a very large number. Uh, if you take the mass of a helium atom versus the mass of a calcium atom, and so now we're going to look at some very small numbers. When you have small numbers, the exponent's negative. So if x is negative, if the 10 to the x, if the x is negative, then you have a very small number. If the x is positive, you have a large number. So a helium atom, one's helium atom, has a mass of 6.65 times 10 to the minus 24 grams. That's a negative 24 grams. A calcium atom is 10 times as massive at 6.65 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. Okay, Very easy to tell which is which when you're looking at the scientific notation because you can just look at this exponent here and see that 24 is different than 23. Now if I was to write these in standard notation, and honestly I don't even feel like it, but I'll see what I can do. Well, never mind. Okay, it's going to take a lot of zeros, and it's going to be very hard to tell the difference between one and the other. Okay, so so that's the reason that we use scientific notation. It is critical that you always have a single digit followed by your exponent, followed by the exponential. Okay, so if we have 15 times 10 to the third, that's the same value as 1.5 times 10 to the fourth. But only one of these is in correct scientific notation. And I think you know which one. It's this one. That's correct scientific notation. This one, not correct. The quantity is the same. Okay. The rule I remember is if I want to convert 35 times 10 to the second to scientific notation, I make this one larger, or make that one smaller, 3.5 times 10 to the third, and I make my exponent one larger. So if I make my multiplier smaller, I need to make my exponent larger. Okay, so that's, that's kind of the idea there. Um, if, you need to add, if you need to add and subtract numbers in scientific notation, you must have the same exponent.
Okay, so, so if I want to combine, well, let's just use these numbers above, 3.5 times 10 to the third plus 35 times 10 to the second, okay, I can't add those directly. I have to make them the same. So 3.5, I'm going to go with the 10 to the third, and my answer then 7 times 10 to the third. So we have to have matching exponents before we can add or subtract. And if we, when you multiply and divide, what you do is you multiply the multipliers. 2.0 times 10 to the third multiplied by 2.5 times 10 to the fourth. It's going to be 2 times 2.5, which is 5 times 10 to the 3 plus 4, 10 to the 7th. When you multiply, you add exponents. Okay, 10 times 10, 10 to the 1, 10 to the 1 equals 10 to the 2nd. 10 times 10 equals 100. Okay. All right, so multiplying and dividing. Dividing works the same way. Okay, so if I want to multiply, let's say 2.5 times 10 to the fifth and 1.8 times 10 to the third, then I'm going to multiply 2.5 times 1.8 and then I'm going to add 5 and 3. So I wind up with 4. Point Oops, wrong place. 4.5 times 10 to the 8th. Okay, so this becomes a 4.5. The exponents add up to the 8. Okay, when you're dividing, same thing. Now I'm going to divide 2.5 times 10 to the fifth divided by 1.8 times 10 to the third. Now I'm going to subtract exponents. So I'm going to have 2.5 over 1.8 times 10 to the 5 minus 3. Okay, So this gives me 1.4 times 10 to the second. Okay, so those are some examples of using scientific notation.